is Bitcoin. If you've been left scratching your head as the new cryptocurrency phenomenon has boomed around you, don't worry, you're far from alone. Today we'll be going over what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why on earth it matters. Let's start with the basics. The term cryptocurrency refers to a digital currency that is encrypted so that it can be securely passed between two individuals. Each unit of cryptocurrency has a unique code given to it as it's created, and while it just looks like a long string of numbers, it's the name of each fraction of virtual coin. And there's always going to be a finite number of units of cryptocurrency available. Every person who wants a particular cryptocurrency is also given a unique encrypted code themselves. This is called their wallet, and it acts as their address in the cryptocurrency world. It's essentially a location where things can be sent to and sent from. Of course, all of this is digital rather than physical, and if you want to buy some crypto, then someone else has to be willing to sell it. As a result, the value of any given cryptocurrency changes continuously, based on the perceived value of those invested in it, and that's how it functions like a stock. So why the hell is there any perceived value to this thing anyway? Well, Bitcoin was created by an individual or group, nobody is actually sure, going by the moniker Satoshi Nakamoto, and it was first released in 2009. It came in to answer the question, how can we take control of money off of the banks? Basically, for Bitcoin, there's no centralized bank. Instead, the information about transactions are simultaneously stored on thousands of network computers and therefore controlled by the community using something called blockchain. There's value to it because buying Bitcoin is, in a sense, buying control off of the banks and putting it into the hands of the people. No exploitative interests or nasty credit ratings or records held and potentially manipulated by giant corporations. So blockchain is just like a ledger, where the history of all transactions are kept. We know each fraction of Bitcoin has its own unique name, each individual in the Bitcoin world has its own unique wallet address, and when one person buys Bitcoin from another, that transaction is recorded in blockchain. It effectively reads, the Bitcoin with this name was in the wallet with this address, but it is now in the wallet with this other address. And anyone can have access to blockchain. It can be on your neighbor's computer. It can be on your computer. The entire history of every transaction that has ever happened everywhere. Bitcoin basically exists in a network of peer-to-peer -peer connected computers owned and run by the community itself. If you connect your computer to this network, which is as simple as downloading some software from the Bitcoin website and letting it run, you will then be referred to as a node. The combined computer power of these nodes not only power the transactions that occur in a cryptocurrency, but they also store the blockchain, which, yes, is very secure. You can't just change the blockchain so it looks like every transaction leads to your own wallet. Whenever someone puts up their Bitcoin for sale and another person buys it, that transaction must be confirmed. And to do this, the network examines the blockchain sitting on random nodes in the network to ensure the purity of that transaction. If it determines that it's all okay, as in the coin's unique name has not been used in another transaction at the same time, then the trade goes through. As a result, if you wanna alter the blockchain for your own reward, you'd have to alter it in the same way at the same time on more than 50% of nodes in the network. It ain't gonna happen. So why would you even become a node? How did Bitcoin convince the community to do its heavy lifting? Basically, if you act as a node, each time your hardware helps to confirm a transaction, you earn a tiny bit of Bitcoin. This is called mining, and miners then take the Bitcoin and can sell it into the market. So those are the basics. The last question to answer, if you wanna buy Bitcoin, how do you do it? You go online and find popular sites called exchanges that let you take your real money and exchange them for a cryptocurrency. I personally use Coinbase. You sign up, go through the verification process, and then you're given your wallet code. Then you use your bank account or credit card to put real money into your wallet and use that to buy Bitcoin. Hey, maybe that night someone tweets about how much Bitcoin they just bought and it goes viral. Demand goes up and with it, the price. You can then sell the Bitcoin you bought for more than you bought it for, profiting and going on your merry way with that real money back in your hands. Simple. If you wanna see more videos like this one, please let us know.